I'm sure somebody will. Anyways, so let's uh, do one more of these um, ions, okay? So these polyatomic ions. So this is a good one to do. H3O plus. Okay, so what do we know? So tell me some things that we know of how to build this thing. O is going to be the central atom, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and draw oxygen as the central atom, and we'll draw all the other atoms and their various Lewis structures as well. Okay. So oxygen has got two, three, four, five, six, right? Hydrogen. 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 Okay. So now what do we do? We got to remove an electron, right? Why? Because there's the positive charge. Where will we remove it from? The oxygen. Yeah, preferably the bottom, so we can easily connect our fissure there. So you guys seem to be getting this, okay? Again, you can do this through the calculations, okay? And that works too, but um, this is also working, okay? And now, let's just do our fish of heroes. Okay, like that. <coughs> so the formal charge is a plus on that oxygen there. So hopefully everybody got that. This thing's called the hydronium ion. Okay, remember, this is just the Lewis structure of it. It's not the actual molecular structure. Can I erase this part here? Okay, so what's the bond angle? How about this? Let's build this Vesper through Vesper theory. What is the actual molecular structure look like? So the oxygen. And there's going to be how many bonds forward towards us? One. Very good. And behind? One. And any in the plane? One. And then that. So that's what it looks like. Is everybody okay with that? So what's the name of the molecular structure that this molecule is? Trigonal pyramidal. What's the bond angle here? You guys remember? I know we just memorized it. Cool. 107.3. Yeah, 107.3. So why is it 107.3? And or well, why don't we step back for a second? What's the electronic geometry of this thing? Tetrahedral, right? Why? Yeah, it has four areas of electron density around that central atom, right? Why is this bond angle 107.3 and not 109.5? It's the valence electrons. Yeah, the valence electrons are very diffuse and kind of push those even further down, okay? So electronic geometry, and this is molecular geometry. Any other questions on this one? This thing over here is called the Lewis structure. This is the molecular structure. Okay. The, so the Lewis structure is like a two-dimensional version of the three-dimensional molecular structure. Okay. You guys want to see the, I guess the last thing we can do is look at, um, if I have one. So yeah, something like maybe this would be this ion, right? Uh, assuming this was an oxygen. Okay. 